All right, guys, uh, thanks for joining me for uh, today's session of our um, hands-on AWS, uh, how do I even call it? AWS hands-on training session on Sundays. Uh, this is always hands-on. So um, if you're new, uh, it's okay. I've recorded many of these sessions, all the previous sessions. This is going to be week 14. Um, there's a playlist and everything that I uh, share in the description of my previous videos. Um, with that said, uh, let's just uh, give it, I guess, a minute more. I'm guessing everyone here already knows what, we're, what we'll be talking about today, uh, the demo the lab that we're going to be doing today, or let's say the project that we're going to be doing today. And that is, uh, as the cloud architect for your company, you have your developers have written a code in, uh, 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 in Node.js, right? They told you they have Node.js and they've told you that, uh, it's using a react front end. So here's the code. Uh, uh, uh um, we are ready to go live, right? hosted on, on cloud servers for us. And we know that our company is using AWS. So we have to, you know, take this code and make it available to the end customers that need to consume it. Okay. Uh, so I'm hoping everyone is already in their, um, logged into the AWS. Can everyone tap a yes in the chat? If you're logged into the, your AWS console, remember these sessions are supposed to be one hour and in essence to help those that always you know ask me um i don't have any hands-on experience uh, what, sh what what should i do um so when you're joining this session you know try your best make sure you are logged into the aws console and you're planning to do everything that i'm doing uh, if you get lost in the middle it's okay you know the recording will be available on youtube and then you can go back and, you know, revisit and, and do it again. Uh, I've had many students do that. So you go back, you revisit, and then you see where you like, you know, missed a step or something and you get it done. Um, uh, let's see. Okay. So I only got three yeses, guys. Come on. There's uh, about 15 people on this call. Can I get some yeses that you're logged into your AWS console? I need more yeses in the chat. There you go. And congratulations to Sylvia, guys. Sylvia is one of our, you know, our regular attendee for this uh, one hour hands-on uh, uh, sessions. And she passed her AWS Solutions Architect Associate uh, 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 exam a few weeks ago. Uh, so congratulations again, Sylvia. Um, the hard work paid off. So really you know, good to see you uh, here again. Uh, it's Aminu here. Uh, I don't see Amin. Thank you so much. Oh, thanks. <laughs> uh, thank you. All right. Um, so let's get to it, guys. Uh, hosting a Node.js application is not as straightforward as what we've done before. You know, hosting that PHP MySQL application or using a static website in S3. Okay. Don't worry if my uh, video that you're seeing now is kind of, you know, slow or lagging or something like that in, in the, um, in the actual recording, once I process it, it, it'll be fine. Okay. So don't worry about this tiny video at the top. That's maybe uh, having some type of lag. I can hear someone's mic. If we can please, uh, uh, mute, uh, if we can uh, all go on mute, if you don't mind, please. All right. Okay. So can everyone, no, no, let me share my screen. I was, I was about to ask, can everyone see my screen and I'm not sharing my screen yet. Okay. Can everyone see my screen now? Get some, uh, yeses in the chat. Awesome. Awesome. Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay. Again, guys, um, don't worry. You know, once we do this lab today, you're going to now have this 
you know video forever it's going to be on youtube you know you can reference it once you're on the job and you're given this type of task or you have to advise a client you know on how to go about doing this now this is not like the 100 percent approach to doing it uh, you can use other services like uh, elastic beanstalk on aws to do this uh, perhaps in in the coming weeks we'll show how to when we get to elastic beanstalk we'll show how we can use elastic beanstalk to easily just take code give elastic beanstalk and we have an endpoint that we can use to now it's kind of i would say this is like the you know the harder way of doing it right this is not the easiest way of doing it right uh with things like elastic beanstalk you know it's it's kind of like think of it like a managed solution right you don't have to launch instances and put the code on there and all that elastic beanstalk you know just says it's a service that says give me your code and i'll and i'll host it for you okay so many startups and all that they use you know services like that uh, especially when they don't have in-house you know solutions architects or cloud architects like big enterprises do so they use these services to just make things make life much easier for them so it's a great uh, service for you guys to know as cloud architects as solutions architects and again we would hopefully get to those uh, uh, to elastic beanstalk at some point in, in in the coming in the coming weeks uh sylvia cannot hear me is it just sylvia can everyone hear me if type one if you can hear me oh okay yeah sylvia i think it's just you oh boy i wish i could uh just tell you what the answer is to figuring that out uh, Sylvia, yeah, let us let us know when you're, you know, when you when you figure it out. Maybe just check your mic. Select it might be using another type of mic or something. Okay, all right, sounds good. All right, um, so yeah, guys, um, so today, you know, it's gonna be like the hard way, and trust me, it 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 took me days, hours of troubleshooting for me to figure this out. Okay, before we go ahead and 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 you know test with our sample code today, you know, let's give credit to whom credit is due. The code that I got, I got it from this page. Okay. I tested with several other codes and it wasn't really working well. But then when I, I spent hours, you know, trying to get this code that it's publicly available here on, on GitHub by this person called Harry SRV, uh, Harry SRV, wherever you are, if you ever see this video, you know, I'm giving you credit. This is your, uh, uh sample code that you have in GitHub. A uh, great job. You know, it, it worked and, um, we're using it to teach other people now. Okay. So, uh, uh credit is all yours you know for this code uh guys i did not write this code uh, uh this is where i got the code from okay so we're gonna take this code now guys we're gonna take this code and we're gonna host it on ec2 okay we're gonna host it on ec2 with this code now we need a database guys we need a database to get this up and running okay that means uh who can tell me in the chat remember this is also more about discussion and see how much you guys are learning who can tell me if we need a database for this uh Let's say this is the code. Our developers are giving us this code now, right? There's a step that we always do in this in this labs. What, what, where should we take this code and where should we put this code to start with, guys? I, I need a few answers before I get into it. Now, in the chat, guys, get on your keyboard. Oh, very good. Very good. <laughs> awesome. Great. I see a lot of S3s. Very good. Okay, so guys, when we get when we put it on S3, remember I've told I told you now that and you know when I do these labs, I don't like to do it like, you know, like you see in like some courses out there that they just give you a simple you know page you know welcome to no 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 i i like to be more realistic that's why i look for a, a sample code that actually has an implementation of a back-end database so guys now think about this this is not just a simple hello welcome to our page no no this requires you to to have a back-end database now if we want if we need a database where should we go to get it to launch a database if we need it oh my goodness good uh, i mean awesome oh and everybody guys congratulations to another person uh, uh, who joins this uh, session on sundays aminu uh, in the chat right now aminu also recently passed his solutions architect associate congrats aminu congrats aminu uh, so two people so far and they I, I, I thanks for referencing me in uh you know in your linkedin post saying how this uh, sessions helped you you know that's really good to know please guys share your great news with me okay uh, if you're writing a post on LinkedIn about how you've passed your exam, please tag me, okay? That creates more, you know, visibility into what I do uh, and, and more people are able to find out about my sessions and all that, okay? So, uh, please, I'd love to hear your, uh, uh, you know, your success stories. And I'm so happy that two of the students uh, of the average, two of the average 26 students that joined these sessions on Sundays, you know, 
have passed the exam. So um, what I mean by that is on average, I get 26 students joining these sessions. Um, uh, so it's great to see, you know, like it, it, it's working, you know, uh, 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 even if it's just one person. But I hope I, I know this will increase and we get more people, you know, passing the exam easily. And, uh, and of course, you know, uh, uh, with the help of this uh, 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 sessions, as they are mentioning there in their posts. Um, where was I? I think that was a map pool. Uh, what was I, guys? I was going to ask another question. Okay, so we said uh, RDS. Okay, so we have S3 and we have uh, RDS. What else do we need, guys? What else do we need for this, you know, to host this? I, I mentioned the flyer. Okay, we're going to need security groups. Very good, Aminu. Yep, we're going to need security groups. What else? There's one key thing we need for compute, guys. We're going to have to launch something. EC2. <laughs> <laughs> exactly we need an ec2 instance um and i mentioned that in the flyer right no js on an ec2 instance um and again guys just to reiterate there's another service that we can easily use and that 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 is uh, elastic beanstalk we'll get to that in the coming weeks now we're in our aws console we are uh, in our aws console let us now go to s3 guys now you guys might be asking uh, where's the code um Yes, I have already put it in that demo folder for you guys. Okay, let me grab the link. Let me grab the link uh, to the Google Drive so that we can get this file now and put it in S3, right? Uh, we can get this file and put it in S3. Uh, some of you already have the link, but I'll post it in the chat for those that are new. Okay, I'll post it in the chat for those that are new. So there's the Google Drive, guys, and this is what you need. If you guys are looking at my screen right now, this is what you need. Simple Node MySQL app. So I've taken this uh, publicly available code here by this person, okay, that we're using for today's uh, demo, and I put it in here. Simple Node MySQL app. So if you open that drive, you guys should all have this. Okay, you all, you guys should have that. If you open the folder, it has, it has all of these files in there. Okay, it has all of these files in there. So guys, I'm not gonna teach you how to do this, guys, okay? Um, I think you guys understand why. All I'm just gonna say now is, take this code and put it in your desktop. Okay, put it somewhere in your desktop. From the, when we started these sessions, I told you guys to create a folder on your desktop where we put all of these source code. So I hope you still have that folder. So I want you to download uh, this. I think you can just right click and and uh yeah and download right and when you download uh make sure you uh unpack it unzip it if it's zipped and 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 put the folder that is unzipped in your source code folder okay i'm gonna give you guys uh i, I yeah i shared the link as to i shared the link okay yeah you're welcome um so take that uh, unzipped folder now again this might download it for you zipped i think it does download it for you zipped unzip it and put it in your source code folder Okay, I'll give you guys two minutes. Your two minutes starts now, okay? I, I've already done that. That's why I'm not doing it anymore, okay? I've already done that. Uh, it might be different. I th it's different for if you're using Mac. Um, I hope you know how to figure that out. Uh, just take this folder and let me see if I can show you. Here, I'm on Windows. I'm going to click on Download. As you can see, yes, it is zipping the file. Okay, it's zipping, 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 zipping file zipped now it's telling me that it's downloaded here if i click on this icon right here showing folder uh it's showing me now in a folder here that i have uh i can show you guys this so look at it it's zipped here for me now so i can right click and i can click uh when i right click uh extract extract all okay I'm extracting all it, it shows me this I'm extracting it to the same folder so I'm gonna click extract so you see it opens it for me in this uh, 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 folder right here so this is exactly what I need now this is unzip so I can control X this and put it in my uh, source code folder okay and put it in my source code folder simple there it is simple node mysql app okay so i just helped you guys uh to show you guys how to quickly do that uh if you're on windows 
um so give me a five in the chat give me a five if you've downloaded our source code to your desktop now this is the first step before we take it to s3 okay so one person bojo shuab shuaib who else who else as two good as two got it already also who else sylvia is sylvia there is uh hiba here already okay very good a lot of people awesome 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 all right great great guys all right now let's go to our s3 uh, uh, folder now okay let's go to s3 so i'm gonna go to my aws console i'm gonna go to s3 okay i'm gonna go to s3 all right is uh what's her name here uh she's like one of our most advanced students someone help me out with her name real quick how can i forget ronnie is ronnie here um so simple note so let's create a bucket guys let's create a bucket uh let's create a bucket now let's call the bucket uh node mysql now I'm going to add my initials. Don't add my initials to this. You know why I'm doing this, guys, right? Because I don't want uh, this. Uh, uh, the name has to be unique. I'm pretty sure you all know this by now, right? So um, I'm going to say node MySQL MK. Okay. Um, what else? What else? Uh, choose bucket. Uh, leave all settings as default like we always do for our buckets. But we change this. Uh, yeah, leave this actually disabled. We don't want bucket versioning um and don't worry again if you're new just you know take the time uh, as you can see a lot of people you know have been benefiting a lot from these videos the videos are one hour one hour 20 minutes 30 minutes sometimes don't worry if you're getting lost in everything that i'm doing today watch the previous videos um and you should be and once you catch up with us you know then things should make a lot more sense okay or if you're already here and you have a solutions architect certification and you're just using this to get to to get some hands-on project to put on your resume that's great you know a lot of this should a lot of what i'm doing right now should make sense otherwise you know watch the previous sessions as well and also all of these projects uh, i think i mentioned it last time maybe i did it before last time or um, all of these projects that we're doing to, up to week 14 now uh, i'm, I'm going to add this also as a project on my template resume so uh, if you haven't seen my template resume recently, go and take a look at it, right? All of these projects that we've been doing, I've, I've put them into words and they're on your resumes right now. And that should help, you know, also, you know, boost your marketability, you know, as recruiters see your resume and they see all of these projects, mm, perhaps this is someone we should bring in for an interview. Okay. Uh, so don't worry if you're lost, uh, if you're new to cloud, you're lost, don't worry, just keep following or keep watching and then just catch up with the previous videos. Okay. They're on YouTube. I'll share the links at the end. All right. Uh, default encryption. Uh, what do we have here? Uh, where's default encryption? Enable, guys. Okay. And leave it at SSES3. All right. Uh, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope no one has taken this name in the world. And I hope none of you have already created your bucket with this name. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, so let, let me go ahead and click on create bucket. Oh, Ronnie's here. Good, good, Ronnie. Good to have you here. All right, all right, all right. Um, so good. None of you took my name. That's good. Thank you. Um, so now I have this node MySQL MK. Okay. Now I'm gonna click to go inside of this bucket. It's empty. There's nothing in there now. Now let me open my folder. Let me open that folder of mine where I have that code. Um, source code examples simple node mysql right this is it right 11 17 a.m yes all right so you see what i'm gonna do guys i'm gonna open the folder where it has all of the code okay you don't have to i can just do Control a and then i'll drag it into my bucket okay i'm gonna give you guys 10 seconds to do that all right 10 seconds to, it looks like we might go a little over over 12 uh, uh p.m today but it's okay guys um I don't mean to go over 12 uh, an hour, but you know, uh, I hope you guys understand. Um, 
apologize for you know on most occasions going over an hour but i hope you guys find a lot of benefit in, in all of it though um uh, where is okay so just go ahead and click on upload don't worry about this yes we don't want to enable versioning all right uh we talked about version in one of the videos before go ahead and click on upload okay go ahead and click on upload now you have the status up there 97 percent, 98 percent all right it's uploaded close so now it's in the bucket let me go back here at the top here i'm going to click on amazon s3 and then if i click on the folder again node mysql mk okay that should now have all of the objects in there okay everything in there all right guys uh let's go ahead now and let's go ahead now and um what did i want to say let's go ahead now and create the database we need a database okay so let me open a new tab guys instead of doing it here let me right click uh, this tab open a new tab i'm going to duplicate that s3 page that i have actually type 7 if you if you've up if you now have those folders in your s3 bucket tap the number 7 you've copied those and now you have it in your bucket okay you remember that's important guys who else as two got it uh who else who else guys only two people no way there has to be more than that uh, share the link to the google drive okay i'll share it again i joined link yes mean don't worry uh you can just uh, uh yeah just try to follow along uh, and watch the videos if you're lost uh if you're just joining it's okay the recording will be available later all right almost seven six, six uh oh poor internet here i see i see all right so we have a couple of seven so let's move on guys uh let's move on uh now we have this new uh page here let's go to rds let's go to rds let us go to rds all right um now i'm going to don't click on this create database here guys uh, click on databases on the left here click on databases on the left here okay we're going to move a little faster guys okay we're going to move a little faster uh click on create database click on create database okay give me one second here Uh, give me one second just to make sure I get the names correctly. Okay. All right. So now standard create and MySQL guys. Okay. Change from Aurora to MySQL. All right. Again, standard create MySQL. What else are we going to change here? Leave version as, as what it is go ahead and choose free tier guys go ahead and choose free tier okay um and then database instance let's call it node db okay so when we come into the rds console we can know that this is the database that we're using for our node application okay um master username uh, admin i'm gonna leave mine as please guys uh, uh you have to remember what you put here if you don't remember and you enter the wrong information in your source code this is not gonna work okay so please if you need to write this down on a piece of paper all right do that all right so i'm gonna call my uh, uh my I'm, I'm gonna have my username for my database as admin all right 
admin or I can just let me just add my initial admin MK okay and for my uh, password for my password I'm gonna use I'm gonna use something that I'm not gonna tell you <laughs> all right so use what you guys uh use your own password create a password that you can remember okay so I'm done with mine I'm done with mine uh, what else what else what else leave this as a dbt2 micro okay um, and it's it's kind of giving us this option because you know we said you know free tier um, if it's in a production environment of course you like I said before um, on average you know I recommend using M type of instances okay and if your application doesn't run as efficient as you know as you want then maybe you can increase the size of the uh, of your uh, of your instances or your databases it all depends but start with an M and for production databases that you're gonna you know here is a test environment so we can use a smaller uh, database if you guys understand what I mean by that so we can use the dbt2 micro so let's leave it as this um, we cannot choose any other one because we said allow us to give show, show us only the options that provide free tier all right um yes uh, the size of the disk 20 gig is fine enable storage auto scaling um it's okay 20 let's just leave it as 20 gig we don't need storage auto scaling okay because we're not in like a production environment all right uh connectivity uh default vpc yes default vpc uh public accessibility click yes okay click yes all right um and i'm i'm doing this because remember if you are remote and you want to be able to remote into remotely access this database that's why we're doing this otherwise if you choose no then you have you you only be able to ask access the database from instances that are inside of your vpc okay so leave yes and then who can tell me in the chat if you do yes here what's another mechanism that you're going to use to make sure that it's still secure quickly in the chat guys well, yes we're choosing yes here but what security group oh kofu thank you awesome and kofu actually passed her um why am i forget well it's a good thing you guys are chatting and i'm, and I'm remembering kofu passed her uh, kofu rola passed her uh, uh um what was the exam again ccp uh cloud practitioner exam uh, not too long ago so congrats to kofu rola on that so Kufrola, you got it right. Yes, security groups, security groups. Okay, um, lots of great news, you know, uh, success stories with, with members of this. Uh, 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 I'm really happy to see that. It makes my day when I see those uh, uh, messages on LinkedIn. Um, all right, guys, where are we? Uh, so now we're not gonna use this, right? Security groups. So let's let's close out of this. Okay, let's click on the X. We don't want to use default. Okay. Uh, we don't want to use that. All right, now click on this. Engine type is MySQL. Add it to me. Engine type is MySQL. All right, so I'm gonna use DB Security Group. We've had DB Security. We you know. Remember, guys, we have our ELB Security Group. We have our Database Security Group, and we have our what? One more. What's the last one, guys? And we have our we have our ELB Security Group, our Database Security Group, and our and I remember. I told you guys before, don't delete those security groups. All right. What's the last one, guys? Web server security group. Very good try. All right. So now let's go ahead and choose our DB security group. You guys might have your own naming as different from this. I think I have to recreate mine at some point, but you get the point. DB security group. Maybe some you guys might have it as DBSG or something like that. Um, so just choose yours. I'm going to choose DB security group. Once you select that, click outside of the box. And then you should see that it's been populated, okay? Uh, availability zone, I'm going to choose 1A just to keep it close to the same availability zone as my EC2 instance will be in. All right. Uh, what else? Password authentication is what we want. Additional configuration, initial database name. Now, uh, uh, our developers have told us that uh, uh, there's a database, the database name that we should be using is Cloud337. And that's what this uh, person used in their code as well okay so we're going to use cloud 337 okay we're going to use cloud 337 
all right they've told us that this is the name you should give your database okay cloud 337 so give your database a name so when should once aws creates this uh, uh database uh, 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 uh platform for you uh this database engine you know uh, mysql when it's up it will have a database uh, created in there right there'll be a database that, that is created in there and that database name will be cloud 337 okay um what else what else automatic we don't need this unless you're in production environment you know um enable automatic backups yes we can leave it it doesn't hurt a backup retention seven days okay that's fine a backup window no preference unless you know exactly what you're doing and your company says please only allow updates on weekends okay so it doesn't affect our application so here we're going to say no preference okay because of course it's 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 a, just a demo project okay demo lab uh copy text to snapshot that you can leave that um select the type of logs um it says ensure that generals locally and others are turned on error logs are so you can check all of it it's okay all right um it's always good to enable logs in any environment okay log you know make sure you're collecting as much logs as you can so at the end of the day you can it, it allows you to easily troubleshoot uh maintenance enable auto minor version upgrade yes that's fine maintenance window for this minor upgrade versions of the engines no problem uh no preference uh deletion protection no we don't need that if we delete it fine let it delete uh estimated monthly cost we're using the free tier so that's fine all right just to make sure guys uh database name is that everything else is fine 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 don't forget remember this username and password okay remember this, that username and password mysql is what we chose standard create i'm gonna go all the way down now and i'm gonna click on create database okay create database all right so let's give it a few minutes the database is going to create the database is going to create now i like when i miss steps okay because when i remember it's a great opportunity for me to ask all of you in the chat before uploading my code and i know someone already knows this or someone was already thinking about this before uploading our code to s3 what should we have done in the code what should we have done in the code i know one of you know this or two of you or or, or 10 of you know this what should we have done now we've already uploaded the code we have to do something now update password yes password you're right that's one of them yep edit your endpoint antoine i hope i'm saying your name correctly exactly right remember perhaps here in this code maybe he's using a local mysql that he installed on his but here we're using an aws managed database okay so we need to get the endpoint for the database and plug it into the source code before we put it on s3 okay so it's okay guys it's it's all part of learning okay this can happen in a development environment you forgot to do something and that's i like when when i you know make this when i forget this thing sometimes and we have to go and sometimes it's not forgetting it's just doing it on purpose i'm gonna you know, mention that as well uh, so that we can all learn from it okay um so um in this case now guys i want us to go to our bucket let's empty it empty the bucket okay click on this bucket that we that we remember we've added all of the files and folders in there without actually putting our rds endpoint in there and putting in the username and password so the application knows how to send those credentials to the database so it can authenticate to the database so what we're going to do now is let's empty it okay go to our folder on our desktop add the new you know information about this new database into the source code you're going to see how we're going to do that okay um and then re-upload it okay so now the source code in, in s3 has all the credentials it needs to talk to the database okay so i'm gonna click on rd uh, uh so here again node mysql mk is the i'm gonna click on empty here okay check the bucket click on empty now it says type permanently delete i can just copy it from here I'm going to paste and I'm click on empty. All right. So the bucket is empty now. I'm going to click on exit. Okay. Open it. Just leave it out. Now we can see it's empty. Good. Okay. Now let's go back to our folder. 
Uh, let's see if RDS has already created the database. So this is the database, right, that we created. We called it NodeDB. I'm back in my RDS console if you're wondering. I'm going to open it now. I'm going to open it. Okay, I'm going to open it. Uh, we still don't have an endpoint yet. We still don't have an endpoint yet. Okay, let's just wait for it. You can also refresh. Um, in the meantime, if it doesn't show yet, I want us to go and make sure that our security groups are okay as well. Um, but let's just see if it's if it's done already. Okay, it's there. It's there. Okay. So what I want you guys to do now is where is your code? Where is your code? Uh, go to where you have your code. Okay. Uh, give me one second here. Go to where you have your code. This is where I have mine, okay, on your desktop. Go to where you have your code, okay. How many of you have a, a, a VS Code? If you've been following me so far in all of these weeks, you should have VS Code on your computer, right? If you don't, it's okay, we can use Notepad. I just wanna see if anyone here has VS Code. I would love to use VS Code, but if not, I'll just go ahead and use Notepad. I'll just use, go ahead and use a note edit. Type the number five if you have VS Code. Type the number five, let's use the number five. Anybody with VS Code? Okay, so Kufo, Kufrola has it, As2 has it, Aminu has it. Who else has it? Okay, it's okay. If you don't have it, oh, a lot of you have it. Awesome. All right, so let's just use VS Code then, okay? I want you guys to go to this folder. Open this note. Okay, awesome. Adebi has it. Antoine has it. Let's just use VS Code, guys. All right, Um, click on open this folder right here. Node.js. Okay, open that. And then open server. Okay. You can right click and uh, you can right click and click open with and then you should have VS Code option. Okay, so I'm going to open with VS Code. Where can I find recording? Recording will be in the make sure you're part of my Telegram channel, Sandeep. Make sure you're part of my Telegram channel. Once you're part of the tel Telegram channel, look at the pinned post. It has the link to all of the important you know links that you need. Okay, um, but uh, yeah. So go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and click on open here, guys. All right, so my VS Code is opening. Okay, my VS Code is opening, and you guys should have this. You guys should have this. Okay, you guys should have this. All right. Now, type the number three. I only need two people to type three, and then I'm going to move on. I want us to move a little faster here. Okay, good. All right, so now, you guys, you see, this is from my old testing, okay? So we have to change all of this now to the new information we have, okay? Now I'm gonna I'm not gonna show you here because here you, I'm gonna have to show my password. But I'm gonna take this uh, console to another screen and plug in all of this information. Now just to show you guys, here's what you're plugging in. This is your RDS console, right? Let me just make this to the left here. Now you're gonna grab this and then plug it in here, okay? Plug it in here, okay? Let me just do that now. I can show you guys now. Okay, I'm gonna control C that. All right, I'm gonna plug it into here. Okay. Is it the same? ZG1, ZG1, yeah. Okay, so I pasted that, guys. All right, now, uh, uh, user, I, I think, I, I believe I use the same one. Okay, admin MK. I'm, remember the username and password I was emphasizing when we were creating this database. Remember I was emphasizing Write it down on the paper. <laughs> okay. If you've forgotten it, it's not gonna work. Okay. So now put it, put the password that you have. I'm gonna put uh, again. Take this away and put my password. But just to show you guys what you need to do, put your password and don't forget to also put the name of the database that we created. Also, when, you know we told RDS, hey, create this database. Once you create this uh, database uh, 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 engine for us or server, whatever you wanna call it. Okay, instance. Right. Um. So make sure you put Cloud 337 here for database as well. And that's pretty much all we need to do in this code that our developers have given us, okay? So again, let me let me now move this to another window, okay? And finish my own uh, uh, setup there, okay? Um, 
All right, let me make this bigger again. Okay. All right, so it's, uh, let me put my password, password. All right. Um, now, don't forget to save. If you're in Visual Studio Code on Windows, you can just click on Control S and that should be good. Click on Control S and then it should be saved. Um, and then you can close your Visual Studio Code. Now, for those that are wondering, if you don't have Visual Studio Code, I think it's uh, um, just open it with Notepad, okay? Just do this, right click on, on, on that server and just do open with Notepad. Choose another app. You're going to click on choose another app and open with notepad and make those changes that we mentioned. Okay. Um, let me just go ahead and minimize that. I just wanted to uh, clarify. So control S on my VS code to make sure that it saves all of this new configuration. And then I'm going to click on uh, exit. I'm going to exit my VS code. Okay. All right. Now guys, let's take that code again and upload now. Okay. Let's take the code and upload. Okay. uh source code examples just make sure i'm in the right folder here this is the one that i'm using and don't worry if i have this in another folder you guys perhaps have it in whatever uh, a folder on your desktop um i have two that i'm currently working with the one i've used before and the one that i just did as an example for you guys in the beginning don't get lost don't get lost okay it's, we're still doing the same thing so i just want to make sure it's this one that i just edited and that has my new configuration don't do what I'm doing. I'm just checking to make sure it's the same one. Before I upload it, I don't want to upload the wrong old one that I had. ZG1. Yeah, it's it. Okay. All right. So this is the one that I, yeah. So this is the folder that I need. Okay. So guys, this is the one where I've made that change. Just make sure you, you know, don't uh, make sure it's the same one. Okay. You don't have to worry because, uh, uh, you, you probably you guys probably have one folder where you uploaded it to. So this is the folder. Um, let me go back to my S3 here. Okay. I have that bucket open. Okay. I have that bucket open. I have the bucket open. Now let me just paste it now. Okay. All right. And then click on upload. Yeah, I changed the host. Antoine, I changed the host. I was, I just opened my chat now and I saw Antoine asked, uh, what about the host? Yeah, remember we changed the host. We changed the host, we changed the username and we changed the password in our source code. Okay, and we're uploading those changes now to, to the folder. Now, that was a lot. Let me just make sure I still have some people following me. It's, again, it's okay if you're lost. Okay, you're going to have the recording later on. Give me the number nine if you're following. Give me the number nine if you made those changes and you're following. Very good. I have Shuaib, I have Ronnie, I have Aminu. Who else? Who else? Come on, guys. Two more people. Awesome. There you go. I Stu and Yusuf. Awesome. Awesome. That's good to know. All right. So I'm going to close this now. Okay. And sorry, I'm talking a little fast. <laughs> Hopefully, you know, an additional 15 minutes and we'll be done with all of this. Okay. Uh, I mean, an additional 15 minutes after 12 o'clock. Um, where are we? Okay. We've uploaded the code. Uh, let's go back to our S3 bucket here. All right, so this is the name of the bucket. Uh, RDS, let me go to back to my databases. Remember, I have two tabs open, one for my S3 and one for RDS. So let's look, let's go to databases now and see if it says it's active, available. Ah, my database is available. Give me the number one, if yours is available too. Give me number one, number one. Can you check yours and see if it's available? Okay, okay, very good, very good, very good. All right. Um, so now I think I can just use this RDS console. I'm done with the RDS console. I'm going to use it to go to EC2 now. So I'm going to click on EC2. Okay. I'm going to click on EC2. All right. Um, so now running instances, click on instances running, click on instances running, instances running. Okay. Um, we're going to be do typing a lot. We're going to be copying and pasting a lot of code, guys. 
Um, and I should perhaps charge you guys, each of you, $10,000 for this set of codes, right? That I'm going to give you guys now. Trust me, this is, this is hours of troubleshooting, guys. Uh, but of course, you know, here to help you guys as much as I can, I'll give you the code that we're going to use to make this thing work. Okay. To make this thing work. And again, remember guys, if it doesn't work, we we'll troubleshoot together, okay? If it doesn't work, we we'll troubleshoot together. So what should I, what, should, what I'm gonna do now is I was thinking of just putting all of the codes in the chat one by one, but let me give you guys the code in this folder, okay? Let me let me give you guys the code in here. Um, I think it'll just make things much easier that way. I'm gonna drop the codes in the in the folder in the Google Drive, okay? I'm gonna drop it in Google Drive, guys. Uh. Okay, and I also put some links in there that helped me with troubleshooting when I was trying to set this thing up. Trust me, this setting this Node.js on EC2 with MySQL up, it gave me a lot of headache. It gave me a lot of headache. I mean, not not headache, but you you know what I mean by that. Um, so I'm just gonna put a notepad here. I'm going to mention it's not a bash script, okay? It's not it's not a bash script that we're going to copy in user data. We're going to have to do things one by one here. I haven't made it into a script yet. Hopefully, I can do that at some point, but it looks like it's going to be a little more complicated if I try to make it a script for now that we're just pasting our user data. So, we'll have to go in, log into the instance, and then put all of this one by one, okay? Um, just uh, uh, making sure I, I, I mention that to you guys. Um... Give me one second. Let me just space out a little bit so it's not too confusing uh, before I paste it. All right, I'm gonna control S this. Uh, just give me one second. You see it appear in your uh, in your drive in a second, okay? Node MySQL commands. Node MySQL CLI. Let me name it Node MySQL CLI commands. Node MySQL CLI commands. Okay. All right. Done. Uh, let me see. I have no passwords in here. Right. Just make sure I don't. I didn't <laughs> mistakenly I leave passwords in here. Okay. It doesn't look like. Okay. All right, now let me upload it. Let me upload, upload a file. Uh, all right, it's uploading. It's uploading. Um. Uh, I also put a link to the video. This person uh, has a video on YouTube as well. Uh, but if you try to follow the video, it's not going to work for you because here we're using cloud. Uh, he was using some on-prem, some local components for uploading. So the link is also there in the code that I just uploaded. Um, so now give me a five if you can refresh your drive and tell me that you can see the code now. I can see it. If you guys can see my screen, I can see it. Give me number five. If you refresh your Google Drive, can you see can you see this now? Node MySQL CLI commands. Okay, I have one person. I have one person. Okay, Aminu, Yusuf, Ronnie, do you have it? If you all refresh your Google Drive, you should be able to see this now. You all should be able to see this now. Okay, you all should be able to see this now. Who else? Bojo, Astu, anybody else? I want to see more people type the number five because this is very important. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. Now let's get to it, guys. Let's get to it. I'm going to close my uh, this folder now. Um, you can download that to your computer. Okay. Uh, you can download it to your computer and open it from your computer directly. All right. Um, what do we do now? We're in our EC2 console. Let's go ahead and click on launch instances. Let's go ahead and click on launch instances. I'm just going to refresh. It's showing me error loading AMI data. Okay. Linux, Amazon 2. Go ahead and click on and select that. Amazon Linux 2. Go ahead and click on, click on that. 
T2 micro, yes, T2 micro is what we want. Configure instance details. Uh, D4 VPC, a number of instances is one. Uh, one A, so it's also closed, you know, in the same AZ as our database. Um, what else are we changing here? IAM role, S3 and SSM. Okay, S3 and SSM. Shutdown behavior, terminate. Okay, if we shut down, we want it to terminate. Okay. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Okay, here again, we're not we're not gonna paste any script in there. We're gonna have to do this manually today. Okay. Uh, next, add storage. Okay. Go ahead and click on add storage. Eight gig is fine for this EC2 instance. Add tags. Let's add a tag and give a name. Let's say name is a uh, web server. Uh, no, let's call it node, node server. All right, configure security group, select an existing security group, choose your web server security group. Okay, um, you guys would need to change some of the things, but don't worry, it's okay. We can go back and do it later. Okay, I already have it in mind. I want you guys to allow this port. We need to allow this. If you already know how to do it, you can go ahead and do it. Otherwise, I'll show you guys later on. Okay, don't worry about it. But just, just know that we're going to have to open this port to what? To this. You know, so that node servers, you know, node is managed by some, you know, uh, uh, I believe from what I learned, you know, from some uh, third party out there. So uh, we need to allow this, okay, on this port. This is how, you know, those node servers are going to be able to communicate and allow us to run our node application you know, and just to get this node thing working. All right, so we're gonna have to open this port, but don't worry about that now. You guys might have other things in here, it's okay. Um, and don't worry about this IP, again, I'm on VPN, it's gonna change when I restart my computer or if I need, uh, I can just go into software and change it, okay? So all traffic, I'm aligned to my IP, just for security reasons, okay? Go ahead and click on review and launch, all right? Um, it's open to the world. Yes, we have some things open to the world in that. Okay. Uh, go ahead and click on launch, guys. And choose an EC2 key pair that you know you have. Okay. I acknowledge. If you don't have an EC2 key pair, you know, click, go ahead and click on create a new one. But we all in this class, in this live sessions already have one we've been using. It, it doesn't have to be web server key one. It could be something else that you had. Okay. So go ahead and click on launch instances. All right, my instance is launching. Here's where I ask again. Give me the number three if you're following me so far. If you're with me so far, I want to see the number three. As two, very good. Uh, Shuai, Aminu. Ronnie, don't tell me you're lost. Um, okay, <laughs> good. Who else, guys? Yusuf. Oh, God. I'm so happy I'm seeing all of So many of you are still on track. That's good to know. That's good to know. Let's go ahead and quickly make those changes to our to our security group, guys. Uh, so just go on the left here. Go to security groups. Um, so my web server, uh, my web server, uh, this is my web server security group. Okay. Uh, it's highlighted here. You can move this up. Just to, now go ahead and click on edit inbound rules for your web server security group that you checked up here. Edit inbound rules. Okay. So make sure that you're allowing this. Okay. I can, let me just delete both and show you again. Okay. Here I'm going to say my IP just to make sure. Okay. My IP. All traffic to my IP. I'm trusting my computer guys. Think about this. I'm not trusting 0.0.0, .0 anywhere in the world. Okay, just for the sake of testing and all that, I want my computer, my IP to be allowed to do whatever I need to do uh, to this server. Okay, however I want to connect to it from any port, I want it to work. All right, so add another rule, guys. This is very, very important to get your node server working. Okay, to get your node application working uh, the way uh, as expected. So we're going to say custom TCP. Okay, and you're going to allow open this port 3000 to 4000. All right, to anywhere. Okay, and then yeah, that should be it. It will automatically add for IPv4 and for, for and for IPv6. All right, go ahead and click on save rules. Okay, add this as well. 
all traffic to my you know remember what we're only doing this for testing when we say all traffic we're choosing our own ip okay my ip make sure you choose my ip and then http um to the load balancer http to the load balancer okay http to the load balancer don't worry you don't even have to have this http for now because when we test we're going to test from our computer and it's going to allow http to our computer okay it's going to allow http to our computer so you don't have to have this first one that i have here Okay, but you guys should leave it because we had it from previous labs, whereby we're saying our web server is allowing HTTP traffic only from what? Our load balancer. But we're not, in this in today's lab, we're not going to use load balancer. Okay, so this doesn't really matter. Still leave it there. In the future, if we add a load balancer in front, then, you know, it's going to be needed for us to have this. So, what's important, guys, to summarize, all traffic to our IP, and also make sure this custom rule is allowed to this. Okay? Go ahead and click on save rules. Okay, save rules. Okay, and for the database, for the database, guys, you have to make sure as well. Let's let me uncheck this uh, web server now. Let me look for my DB security group. So this security group that we give our RDS. Remember when we launched our MySQL RDS, we use this database security group. Let's see what it allows. Uh, check this database security group. Click on edit inbound rules. Okay, all traffic again, I'm allowing to mine. This database should allow me, you know, to be able to connect to it on any port. It's allowing my IP, not any IP in the world. I hope that makes sense again. Uh, now, uh, we also want to allow all traffic, okay, to the database security group. Now, I'm going to change this just, just to show you guys exactly what we're doing here. I'm going to click on the X sign here to remove this. Okay, all I was doing before was allowing my, this, if this is my database security group, guys, I, help me out in the chat here. Who am, I, who am I allowing to talk to my database? Which security group should I be allowing to talk to my database? Look, I know someone knows it. Everyone, look at your chat. Someone knows it. Someone's going to type the answer now. Who should I be allowing to, web server, Amani. Oh, my God. Thank you, Amani. Um, Amani has two, uh, uh, Aminu, I, I believe you meant your uh, web server as well. So, yes. Let's go ahead and, and look for our web server and say we're only allowing our web server to talk to this database, okay? Um, and I know the application, of course, is, is, gonna, is using our web server security group. So, yes, our web server uh, is what we're allowing. So, go ahead and click on Save Rules. You have not made any changes. So, for you guys, you should perhaps show you've, you've made some changes. For mine, it's still the same thing. So, that's cool. I'm going to go ahead and click on Cancel. It was all the same thing before. All right. Um, now moving on guys uh let's go back to ec2 instances up here instances up here it says our instance is running let me click on the instance check it and then now we're going to click on connect hopefully our ssm has already installed and installed the rules that it needed go ahead and click on connect on that ec2 instance i hope you guys are not lost let me cancel let me cancel i'm in my ec2 console node server Okay, the only one node server that we have running, we want to connect to it and now plug in all of those CLI commands that we need to make all of this magic work. Okay, go ahead and click on connect. Okay, go ahead and click on, uh, yeah, session manager is what you want. Okay, it, it'll give you three options. Okay, you have EC2 instance connect, you have session manager, you have SSH client. We're using session manager and you guys know why we're using session manager. Okay, we've talked about this in previous weeks. Go ahead and click on connect, guys. Okay, go ahead and click on connect. All right, so we're inside now. Now we're going to go one by one with our command. We're going to go one by one with our command. Okay, now uh, 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 this command again is in your, uh, is you guys perhaps have downloaded it or you have it open in another tab that you can copy from. Okay, so the first thing we want to do, guys, uh, sudo yum update dash y. Okay, first, um, Let's see here. Yeah, let's just do this for now. Okay, I'm going to put this to the side so it doesn't keep. Uh... So, guys, please be careful with all of this. If you if you miss something, you know, your end the end result is not going to be good. Okay, so sudo yum update, paste that. Okay, let's update this machine. No packages to update, that's fine. Um, now, we're going to install Nginx. Okay, of course, we're not going to use Nginx today uh, for a little lab. Perhaps we're going to need it, but it's good practice to do that now. 
all right so copy the second command i'm copying the second command that's all i'm doing maybe i can just do this so we're all on the same page with this uh let's see here okay so here we we are now at our second one okay and i've pasted it now okay i'm gonna click on enter okay that's what it says and yes it is stable and then the third command as you guys can see on the right of your screen the third command i'm gonna paste okay now we're gonna do this paste okay uh enter okay now this the next command sudo yum dash y install nginx so the things we've been doing before were kind of like prerequisites so actually install it okay so now we're going to do that nginx enter okay now next engine x dash v to check the version of engine x that we have paste okay we have this version good now we're gonna do let's do this i want you guys to do sudo su elevate your privileges if you know about linux and all that um we kind of need to do this uh for this uh, node application just to make things easier for us guys um just do sudo su put yourself in that admin privilege uh, uh, role like admin permission we're giving ourselves here admin permission for whatever commands we're going to be typing from now you know just give use the admin permission to to execute all the commands okay to make things easier for us let's do this right now sudo su elevate your privilege to that okay all right what else do we have in the uh what else do we have here uh so now uh, um okay i was just trying to make it neater uh now guys let's move to this directory kind of like uh home directory so cd forward slash let's go to cd forward slash cd forward slash okay all right now do an ls okay i won't say i won't call this home directory i'll, I'll call it perhaps our desktop okay the desktop that we want to be in okay so go ahead and click on ls okay now you have all of these folders in here okay now we're gonna create a folder in here now okay we're gonna create a folder in here that we're gonna put our code from s3 into okay think of this now as the source code folder on the actual server okay the code is sitting in our s3 that we already now we're gonna put it now on this machine so this machine knows what to you know uh, uh, upload and 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 you know and and node knows what to use to uh, display our application for us okay again this node application uses react okay you don't have to know about this programming languages react was created by facebook as a front it's used to build your front end for your applications we're, we're going to need react for this but don't worry all of that how to do all that it's all in this uh uh 10 million dollar uh command that i have here okay <laughs> all right uh so let's go ahead and do that now so let's go ahead and click on this command right now Control c all right we're going to paste in there paste i don't need sudo but it it's okay you can just leave it there um oh i have a typo here i have a typo guys good thing you guys are watching this live so remove that mk we're just making a directory okay we're just making a directory so uh you can just copy again you don't need sudo anymore because now we're sudo su okay paste make directory test app okay so now it's created so for future reference i'm going to remove this sudo right because we already have a sudo su here so whatever we type now we don't have to type sudo anymore for those of you that know about you know uh uh, uh, uh linux and all I, I hope that makes sense um all right um so what else guys what else guys moving a little faster now we just did this okay now let's move to that directory 
It's one thing to create a, 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 a folder. It's another thing to go inside of that folder. So now we're going inside of the folder. Okay. And this is how we do that. CD. Okay. I'm going to paste. All right. CD to that test app. Now we're inside. Now we can do LS to show, is there anything in this folder? Nothing. There's nothing in there. Okay. All right. So now what I want us to do now is we're going to do this. Now you have to change this bucket name here, guys. To what? To the name of your bucket. Okay. Go to your, go back to your S3 console. Grab the name of the bucket that has all of the source code. And then change this before you paste it. Okay. Node MySQL MK is the name of mine. All right. So I'm going to copy this. Okay. Uh, this dot is saying, you know, copy from this bucket into this current folder that I'm in. And the current folder that I'm in is my test app folder. So this dot means copy from that, from this S3 bucket into this what? Into this current folder that I'm in. And copy everything. Folders inside of folders, files inside of files. Okay? So let me go back to my uh, uh, systems manager. Okay, guys, please make sure you make that change. If you don't make it, it's not going to work at the end. So make sure you change this to the name of your bucket, okay? Just this part to the name of your bucket where you uploaded your node code, okay? Uh, Control C that, paste, all right, enter, fingers crossed. Is that success? Yep. Now, remember, we're still in the test app folder. You can tell from here, we're still in the test app folder. So now let's do an LS, okay, to see what's in the folder. And remember when we did LS before, it said that it just, you know, it showed nothing. So now if we do an LS, is it going to show us now that we have those contents in there? Yes, we do. Awesome. So all of this now, look guys, we've been able to take all of this and now, you know, from going to S3 and now coming into the actual server itself, we now have it on our server. Okay, we have the files on our server. Okay, we have it in our server. All right, good, good. What else do we have here? Uh, we just did this LS, good. Getting error, unable to locate credentials. Uh, Shwai, we'll have to, you have to troubleshoot that later. Uh, now let's move on, guys. Uh, who is with me so far? Uh, give me the number seven. Give me the number seven. Kufrola just give you a great hint right there. Change region. Yeah, perhaps you had, you, you created your instance in, in, in not in the, in not the Northern Virginia region. So this simp, this will tell it, you know, this bucket is in Northern Virginia. Kofo, good, a uh, good troubleshooting tip there. Okay. So you may have created your instance in another region. So that could be one of the reasons. Uh, but I'm glad, uh, uh, just moving on, moving on, guys. It's a little, it's past 12 o'clock now. So let's move a little faster. Uh, Ronnie and S2, are those the only two people? No way, guys. Come on. Aminu, please tell me you're not lost. Ah, oh, thank God. Who else? Cool. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's move on, guys. Let's move on. This is fun. All right. Um, let's take this next command right here. Control C this. Okay. Take that next command. Uh, let us go ahead and paste. Let us go ahead and paste. Now we're installing, uh, 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 you know, we're going to install Node.js, you know, and, and other components that we need to, to get this app, you know, running on this server. All right. So paste that code. Okay. And hit enter. All right. Okay. Now the second one is this. Paste. Hit enter. All right. Nothing happens. That's fine. We're not getting any error messages, so that's good. Now we're going to install NVM as well. These, just, just think that these are components that you need to get this to work. All right. Uh, NVM install node. Okay, that's the next command, guys. I've just pasted it. NVM install node. Okay, it's installing, it's installing. Okay, that's done. It, it, now we we're back to our terminal. Um, now, go ahead and click on this to check. This is to check if we have successfully installed node and it's running fine. Paste. Enter. Running Node.js version 15.11. Let me take a quick pause. Quick pause. The number one, if you're if if you have running Node.js version 15.11.0, number one, the number one, Aminu, 
as two, two more, two more, two more. And I promise we'll continue. Two more. Kufurla, okay, good. Please tell me there's one more. Ronnie. Ronnie, good. Do you need to do this every time you are installing Node.js? Yeah, if you're installing Node.js, yeah, you do this. If you're installing Node.js on a fresh machine, yes, you do this. Otherwise, you take an AMI of this server when you're done. Okay, because if you shut it down, uh, no, if you shut it down, it should still be there unless you're actually running the application. Um, but those are, we'll talk about those later. Um, all right, good. Moving on, guys. So now we're here. Now, um, I don't know why I put ls here again, but let's do ls again just to make sure. Uh, ls. Okay. All right. Now, now we we are in this Node.js. Well, now we can see all of the files again that we still have in in our test app, right? And we've installed Node and all that great stuff. Now let us cd into this Node.js folder. Okay. This Node.js this Node.js folder has like the important files uh, that mix up this application. Okay. So now let's cd into this Node.js folder. Okay. Now I'm gonna do Node. Uh, I'm gonna do cd. Okay, and don't worry, I have the command here. I don't have to type it. I ha I'm going to do cd into that Node.js folder. Okay. Now I'm inside. Now let me do an ls. I should just add it an ls here, actually. So let me just add that now. ls. Okay. So let me add ls. Now let's do some ls and see. Okay. Now it shows us that we have this. All right. Um, and, uh, and now this is what we have next npm install. Okay. Let me put a, uh, let me enter this on the next line. Okay. So now this is what we want to do. Now that we're in this node.js folder, we want to install this. Okay. We want to install this. Okay. Uh, it needs express. Okay. Express is also another framework. Um, if you're a developer, all of this will make sense. You know, React, Express. Uh, Express is a framework that is needed to also get this to work. But again, don't worry about don't don't worry about the the you know the uh, uh, don't think too much about what all of this do. Okay, you have everything here for you already made for you. Okay, uh, uh, just use this uh, um, code that I have here. It'll install Express that is needed to get this to work. Okay, let us let us leave this at that. All right, now let us click on Enter. Okay, that's done. Now, while still in Node.js folder, do. Hmm, I wonder why I put that there. Uh, give me a second. Now, make sure to allow the security group of your easy instances. We already did that. Uh, allow for 3000. Okay. Okay, yeah. So, I'm going to fix something here, guys. Okay, do, um, don't worry, just wait, wait, uh, now make sure, okay, go back to the test app folder, now we need to do this. Just leave that as that. Now that we have the node installed, uh, uh, we just installed, you know, this express. Now we're going to do this, guys. Node. Okay, this is the command. This is the command. Do. I should put this in a new line. Now do. Node. Let me put back my, okay, now I see why I put this there. Do this command. Now what we'll do now is do this command Then put that in a new line so it makes more sense as well. Don't worry, I'm going to change this in the Google Drive. I know we're making some edits here, but it's good we're caching this together, okay? I'm going to make sure I copy this new uh, uh, format, uh, all the changes we made, and put it in that Google Drive. So if you're watching the video next time, you have the updated code, okay? Um, so now let's do node server.js. Node. Server .js. node. Let's just copy it to make things easy. Where are we? Control C. 
Okay. Paste. All right. We got to remove that. Uh, remove the pound sign. I'm just going to remove it over there as well. Fingers crossed. If we installed everything correctly, you, should, you guys should get connection successful. This is one part. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Sorry, this is taking long. Uh, it's again. This is not as easy. You can already tell this is not as easy as uh, the upload, the doing my uh, the PHP MySQL app that we did before. You can see like all these different components we need to install. But this is great knowledge. If you can put this on your resume that you've worked with Node.js before, you know, and installing React and Express and all that, you know, it makes you stand out. Okay, so be patient with me, guys. Don't worry. Um, we're getting there. Okay. Um, give me the number five. Give me number five. Give me the number five. If you're with me so far, that you got connection successful. That is awesome. That is awesome. Good job. All right. Now here's what I want us to do, guys. Now from what I from the from what I uh, put here for us. Now we we've done up to this part. Let me put some space here. Okay, just to keep it a little neater. Okay. Now we've done this part. Okay. Now we need to go back to the test app folder. Remember now we're in our Node.js folder where we did all of this installation and all that. Now let's go back to our test app folder. Okay. Before you do that, don't do that here, guys. Don't terminate this. If you terminate this, it's not going to work. Leave this running. Right click on your, on the tab and open a new tab and click on duplicate. Click on duplicate. Okay. So now we have this that we have running and we have another systems manager page that we have running. Okay. Now CD to that. Uh, so this to this directory, uh, guys. Remember, what do you call this forward slash directory? I I I don't want to get the name. It's not your home folder. It is your. Can we say it's your desktop? Uh, who, where are Linux experts here? This uh, uh, cd forward slash root. Thank you. There you go. Root. All right. So let's cd to our root folder. Okay. So guys, take note. Bojo is a is a is a Linux guru. All right. So cd forward slash Okay, now let's go ahead and see what's in, in this root folder. Print working directory. Okay, do a PWD. All right, uh, let me, I should just, I should add that there here now. Go back to the test app folder. Okay. And then CD. Don't worry, this means the same thing, but we can just remove it. Um, npm install. All right, so here, guys, I don't, I know I did not add this here, but let's, let me add it here now. Okay, go back to your test app folder. If you know how to get back there, that's fine. Um, let me just put those commands here as well, so I don't confuse people too much. Okay, and then the next thing I'm saying here is do a print working directory. Let me do that now. Okay. Um, now let me do an ls. Okay. Um, we can actually ignore this print working directory because we now we know that we, we've changed to our root directory so we know we're in there so just put ls instead okay just put ls so cd to a root directory and then do ls okay so ignore that we did this ignore that we did this let's just say we did cd to our root directory we're inside of our root directory now we can do ls okay now you guys should be able to see this your test app should be in here guys okay your test app should be in here okay your test app should be in here all right. Now I want you guys to do something. Let me see. I mean, you need to switch to root first, sudo su. Okay. Yeah. All right. So now, yes, I like that as well. Let's do sudo su. Let's do sudo su uh, just to make sure that we don't run into any permission issues. Let me also add that to the code sudo su. Okay. So now, guys, let's do sudo su. Okay. I forgot to put su. sudo su. All right, good. All right, now let's just make sure uh, we're still in the same folder. We have our test app folder right there. Okay, do ls, okay, to make sure. Let me just add it again. So if you're following this video later on, you have all the code exactly the way you need to use it. All right, so now let's cd to our test app. Okay, cd to our test app like it says here. It says cd to your test app, okay. All right, good thing I'm catching some of these uh, uh, errors right now. Uh, CD to our test app. Okay, you can just copy the code. It's okay, you can copy the code, it's fine. Oh, well, I don't wanna, let me not type it just so we're all doing the same thing. Okay, now we're inside of our test app. 
Now let's do an LS. Okay. It's always good to just make sure. That's why I'm, I'm adding these LSs here. Okay. Very good. Now we know we're in our test app folder and it has all of these files in here. I want you guys to do this. Oh my God. I talked about troubleshooting, right? I found my answer. Like I always tell you guys, you know, I, I did this and I tested and I tested and I tested. I was using the same package dash lock folder like this guy, uh, this person used. Okay. So that was causing some errors for me guys. And it took me hours or even days to figure this out. So you guys know that now. Um, so what we're doing right now, guys, is I want us to remove this package dash lock the JSON file that's, that's been there before. We want to remove it and create another one by installing npm okay um so do this i found my answer as i was saying in stack overflow that i needed to do this to get this to work at the end of the day okay so here we are now in that test app folder we're going to remove this package dash lock dot json file Okay, that came with this source code that we put in here. We're gonna uh, 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 do something that's gonna create a new one for us, and that's installing npm. Okay, node package ma node package manager. All right. So now let's go ahead and click on. Let's paste that code in here. This code is just gonna remove this folder right here. Package dash lock dot json. Okay. Now, if you do an ls again, guys, you will see that package dash lock dot json is gone. I should also put in here that I did an LS. Okay. So now the next thing we want to do is NPM install. Okay. Control C that. Now do NPM install paste. All right. NPM install. All right. NPM install. And look at what I'm doing on the right, guys. I want to add something here. I want us to do an LS again when we're done doing this install. Okay, so I just added an LS again. Okay, but it's still, it's still installing. It's still loading. Who is with me so far? Give me the number four. If you're with me so far, give me number four. Great job, us too. Ronnie, Aminu, Kufurola, who else? Who else? We have 22 people on this call. 22. Who else? Come on, I want to see a name I haven't seen before. It can be just four people. Are the rest uh, lost so far? You missed something along the way. Don't worry. Let me know. Let me know in the chat. Let me know. Did you miss something? If you missed something, just put it in the chat. It's okay. If you're stuck and you're just watching me do everything now, it's okay. Again, you're going to have the recording, but I just want to know. Yes, got low. Okay, that's good. That's good, Bojo. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. So, um, guys, um, it says here there are eight vulnerabilities found and all that. Um, it's always good to patch when, when you get something like this. So it tells you how to fix that. It says NPM audit fix dash force. Um, for now, guys, um, I'm, I'm not going to do that. Okay. But in real life environment, I want you to do this. Okay. I don't know how long this, this might take a while. So that's why I want to skip this for now. So it gives you what you need to do to fix these eight vulnerabilities. Okay. Again, this is an environment that I'm going to terminate at the end. So I'm not going to do this. I'm just going to leave this, leave it as it is. Again, please, I'm, I'm saying now, I don't recommend that you, you know, in, in like, if you're going into production and you get a message like this, make sure you, you put the, you know, you do whatever it's asking you to do to fix the vulnerabilities. Okay. Very, very important. But this is a test environment. I'm not doing that. So again, I'm not going to do this. I'm just going to do LS to see if I have a new package log.json. Yes, I do have a new one now. Okay. So you, as you guys can see, I do have a new one with you in heart. We follow slowly the record later. Okay. That's good, Antoine. That's good. All right. Uh, so now, as you guys can see, we have a new package log, the JSON. Great, great, great. Amazing. Awesome. All right. Now we want to do, what else we have here now? NPM start. Okay. Control C, NPM start. Paste, NPM start. Enter. God, please let it work. Fingers crossed, guys.
I don't see an error message. Compile. Don't worry about that. Compile with warnings. You always get that almost every time. So guys, how do you test now that you have successfully created an RDS database, installed Node.js, uh, 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 have you know uh, installed Express, uh, 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 you know, and have everything you need to get that application running on your server? Okay. Now, now here's here's what we've been waiting for, guys. Let's go back to our EC2 instance. I'm gonna go back to instances here. I'm gonna use this tab that I have here. Go back to EC2 instances. Click on running instances. Grab the IP of my running instance. Okay, I'm gonna grab the IP of my running instance. Not the private IP, the public IP. Okay, paste. Now remember, node runs on port what you can tell me on in the chat real quick let me see if, the, if i have any developers in here on what port does node run on what port very good wow kufu excellent good i still <laughs> all right so now you need to append that port so it knows where to fetch it, where to go okay three thousand enter worked it worked guys please tell me you see this now, again, of course, in real life environment, this is going to be very fancy. Okay. You're going to see like icons and images and all that. Again, this is just a simple demo application. Okay. But that talks to a database, right? Not just a simple hello world app, a uh, uh, simple page. No, this thing is talking to a database, guys. That's huge. Okay. Again, in real life, perhaps you, the code will include more things, you know, to have images, to direct you to different web pages and all that. But this is simple. It's working, guys. Uh, Ronnie. Uh, who else? Aminu, are you with me so far? Did this work for you guys? Kufrola, are you able to see enter name, enter roll number? Awesome. Great, great, great. Now, guys, let us test. How do we test? Um, don't worry if you don't have this. It's okay. Okay, it's okay if you don't have this. I'm going to do this real quick. Okay. As a, let's say I'm the database administrator and I want to see, and I want to remote into my database and see if it's, if it's, you know, if whatever I do here is actually showing in the database that the company has, right? I'm going to open MySQL Workbench. Uh, if you guys have MySQL Workbench, then great. You can follow me in doing this. So I already have, I have MySQL Workbench here. This is from a, a previous one that I was doing. I can close this. Um, let me just close this and start again. So I'm going to open MySQL Workbench. All right, I'm going to open MySQL Workbench. Uh, this one is for a NodeDB from before. It's not going to work. I'm going to have to delete this connection. Okay, now I'm going to click on, I have MySQL Workbench open. I want to just go directly to my database and just see, and just, just as a means of testing, if I enter a user in my application, is it going to be able to talk to my database and input that data into my database? Okay. Now, uh, Aminu, if you have MySQL Workbench installed, give me the number five. Sorry, this is taking longer, but trust me, guys, you know, this is, this is worth it. Okay. Uh, if you're able to wait and, and watch this till the end, you know, uh, uh, you find a lot of, uh, lots of benefit for your, uh, of course, for your careers. Um, okay. All right, I got a five. So Kufrola is still, you have MySQL Workbench, Bojo, you have that, Astu, you have that. All right, very good. Now let's click on plus here. Let's click on the plus sign here. Okay, connection name, uh, let's call it NodeDB. Okay, host. All right, host will be, let me see, did I? Let me go back to here. Uh, let me go back to my RDS. I'm going to use this bucket console to go to my RDS. Uh, where is it? Let me go back to RDS and grab my endpoint. If you have your endpoint handy somewhere there, you can just quickly grab it. I just need to grab my endpoint. Okay, I'm grabbing my endpoint. I'm going to change this to my endpoint. Okay, port 3306, yes. Username is admin mk. Remember, 
this is what I use. Okay, now password, of course, I'm going to have to put this to another screen to put my password. Um, just click on store in vault and then put your uh, password. Remember the password and username that you wrote down on your, on your, uh, when you were creating the RDS database. Now, let me do now, um, let me put my password. So it's successful. Okay. It's successfully connected. Now let me click on OK. Let me click on OK here. Now let me double click on this connection that we just created. Okay. So that I was able to successfully connect to uh, 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 my, uh, my database. Okay. And think of this as what your database administrators would do. Right, so whatever people are entering into the front end of your application, right, they can see it if they log into the database. They can look at the tables and see what's been populated. All right, if that makes sense to you. Um, now, um, I do also still have this code. Okay, so don't don't worry. I still I still have that here. So now let's add some database, uh, some database to the database. I should have said let's add some tables. Um, Add some tables okay all right so here what you want to do first open my SQL workbench and do the following you see I need to click on enter here all right so now I'm gonna do show databases paste that and click on this eye icon right here okay if you click on this icon right here it's gonna execute you know if you have multiple commands it's gonna try to execute everything so this one with the eye means just execute this line only. Whatever line I'm on, just execute that line only, okay? So I'm just gonna click on execute this line only. All right, good. Now, remember, when we created our RDS database, we created this, okay? We created this uh, uh, Cloud 337 database when we created the RDS instance, okay? Now, the next thing we wanna do now is, we wanna, we wanna say we wanna use this database right now, okay? We wanna use this database right now, okay? So we have that in our code as well. Let me see if I can put this to the right side, right hand side. Yep, we can. All right. Uh, all right, cool. All right, so now let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, we want to use that database. You have to do this, guys. Uh, now execute only the line that we're in. So now it's going to be using this database right now. Now let's do show tables. Paste, show tables, execute that. Okay, there are no tables. Let's create a table. Now, guys, uh, let me just uh, uh, quickly clarify something here. Now we're in our application, right? If you do this, if you enter like a sample name, you know, and a sample row number, there's no table for it to put it in. There's a database, but you don't have a table, and you should have a table for it to put this two information in. So uh, if you know about SQL, I know all of this will make sense. Um, if you don't, it's okay. Um, as long as you're following my, uh, remember my article, my AWS article, and I put an SQL video, my SQL, uh, uh, SQL YouTube video in there for you. If you need to learn SQL, which I highly recommend, you know, watch that four hour video. And you know, some of these things will also start to make more sense to you. But if, if it makes sense to you now, you know, uh, uh, that's good. If it, if not, I hope, you know, as part of, joining me in this session you're still using my aws article which is a, a guideline a roadmap you know to you know show you the resources that you should be uh, 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 watching and learning from in order to make your resume look like my template resume okay so uh in essence guys we need to create a table uh for, before we start putting information in here and before we give this to our end customers and say hey our application is live we need to make our, our, our perhaps this was assigned to our database guys you know, to make sure that they created they create this database uh, to also make sure that they created the table you know to also make sure that you know you know the table is working fine so uh, if you're watching the screen now we need this okay we need this all right so we're gonna copy this command copy this command okay uh, yes we're just going through the SQL video this morning awesome stuff okay good bojo uh, good to know um, where am I? Where am I, guys? 
Where am I? My brain. Uh, what was I doing? <laughs> my school workbench. My school workbench. My school workbench. Okay, guys. Uh, we did show tables. Um, it looks like there are no tables in there. So now enter another new line and paste that code. Okay. Let me open this a little more. Okay. Now make sure your cursor is at the end. Okay. Now click on execute with this. Okay. That's successfully. If, if, if you execute a command and it doesn't work, it'll give you, it, it won't give you a check mark here. It'll give you a, a red X here that, Hey, that command did not run on, on, on the database. So something is wrong with your code. Okay. So fix your code and, and do it again. So all of this code works. So, uh, now we're creating that table. Now let's do, um, what else do we do here? Now let's do show tables again and see if the result changes. So enter, paste again, show tables, execute this command. Okay, now very good, we have a table student. And remember our application needs to use that table student. Okay, our application that we have running now need to use uh, uh, our student table. Now, um, of course we're not gonna do that today, just to also mention before we conclude for today guys, at the end of the day, you don't want to give your customers this, right? What are you going to use, guys, to give your customers a custom URL? Let me just know if you guys remember that, that, that service that we need to use. If we need to customize this website, this link right here, Raw53. Wow, Kufurola, I mean, you're, you're like on your A game today. <laughs> Raw53. But we're not going to go there today. Today, we're just testing. So we're going to use the public IP of the instance and the port, okay, to do the testing. All right, so guys, um, let me just refresh. Uh, and now let's test guys, let's test. Before we do this command, uh, now let's do this command actually. Uh, let me go back to the uh, MySQL workbench. Let's do, um, let's do this command right here. Um, I don't wanna, I'm not gonna do this. I'm, I'm gonna use the application to insert. Now guys, uh, just again, just to make some, you know, to tell you, uh, show you guys some things here. Uh, in my app, I can go ahead and enter a user and, a, and, and something here right now. Right? I can enter some information here and I can see the information in here. But before I do that, um, let me just, uh, I just want to show you guys something first. Copy this. Let's make sure there's no data in the table. Okay. Paste that command in there. Select all from students. Okay. Let's execute this command and just see first. Is there anything in there? There's nothing. There's no name and there's no roll number. Okay, there's no name, there's no roll number. Yes, we've created the table, but we didn't add anything yet. So let's use our application that we've told our customers to go to. Let's say it's a form they're filling, right? There is a form that they're filling up online. This is the form, okay? And it's gonna submit it to a database. So now that we've, you know, uh, uh, we've made sure that, okay, there's nothing in the database, okay? Will our application be able to actually write to the database now? Uh, uh, that's what, that's the last test for today. And I promise we're done. So let me put my name. Okay. Let me put my name. It's populating this from like previous, uh, uh, uh test that I was doing. So Mukhtar Kabir, put your name guys, put your name, be proud. You know, you've done something great today. Put your name and see if it'll work. Let me click on submit. Mm -hmm. This doesn't look good guys. This does not look good. It's taking too long. It's taking too long. Did it work for any of you? Did you get something like form received? Did it work for any of you guys? I still did not work. Kofor, did it work? No. Okay. What time is this, guys? What time is this? Troubleshooting time. Okay, uh, let's see. Let me think. What could be the problem? What could be the problem? Is everything still running? Connection is successful here. Okay, this is still running. It's for 3000. Am I using my old IP? That's my old IP. How in the world did that happen? That's my old IP. I'm 
so I'm using my current IP okay Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I remember what, I know what's going on guys. I know what's going on. I know what's going on. Oh. Ah. Is any of you willing to wait and test and, 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 uh, test this out with me? Ah, <laughs> oh, how could I have forgotten to do that? Again, it's always great to do this troubleshooting. Uh, if you have to drop, it's okay. Um, yeah, we might have to do some of this again, but here's what's missing. In the sample code, this, the person, I'm getting a cup of coffee already. <laughs> okay, I like that. I like that you guys are willing to troubleshoot this together. Great, let's do it. Um, so here's what's going on. In this code for this person, the IP in their application is different. Okay, it's not using the EC2 IP. And we've just uploaded this code with the IP for their own server, not the IP for our own server. Work is calling. As to it's okay. Yeah, you can watch the video later on. Okay. So here's what we need to do, guys. Here's what we need to do. Um, here's what we need to do. So just go here, go back to this page. Go back to this connection successful page. Let's see. I think we should be able to edit it from inside without having to empty the S3 bucket or do a lot of things again. Okay. We should be able to do it from here, but we need to go into the, let me, let me get the name of the folder correctly. Uh, let me open this real quick. Is this my, is it going to be my server? Um, please don't open this on this screen. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to tell you what we need to do guys. Uh, just give me a second. Okay. It's not going to be server. Uh, this is going to be our app, app the JS. Let me see. This is going to be in our app the JS. Yeah, it's going to be in our app the JS. Okay, guys, uh, just see what I just did. Um, again, don't worry. You don't do this on your desktop. We're going to do it directly on the server. Okay. We're going to, this is, uh, uh, this is going to be much, much faster than having, we don't have to do everything again. We're just going to edit it using nano. Okay. Using nano, we're going to edit the file on the server itself. So again, don't worry. Uh, we don't have to repeat everything again. Okay. Um, so, uh, in this source folder right here, we're going to have to open this file, open this. Okay, we're going to open this and change this. Let me show you guys in my VS code. I, I already opened it. So this app.js, uh, don't worry, it doesn't say app.js here, but this is the folder. This is the one that you need. Okay, this app uh, 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 file right here, you need, we need to open it and change this. So you can see this is using, it's referencing my old EC2 instance. You guys see now, and I promise you, this was not intentional. Okay. And this is just me trying to quickly troubleshoot here with you guys and figure this out. Okay. This is, this is actually my best part of doing these videos with you guys, you know, being able to troubleshoot on here and figure out the answer right here. Okay. So now, uh, um, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to close this again. This is local to our computer. Let us go to our server. Uh, do control C here. Remember we have two systems manager page open. Okay. We have two systems manager page open. Um, let's go ahead and go ahead and terminate this as well. Okay, because we need we need to make sure it, it refreshes and catches the new changes. Go ahead and control C from here. Okay. And then the, in the first one as well, in the first one where we have this connection successful, go ahead and control C that one as well to, to end whatever is going on. Okay. Now let's do an uh, 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 go back to this one because the file is uh, go back to here. Okay. Go back to this folder right here. Okay. Um, do a, and we can go to the folder from any of the pages, but just to keep things easy, do it from this one right here. Now, 
let me just make sure you guys are following me so far. Let me just make sure you guys are following me so far. And I hope uh, 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 Aminu is back. Uh, someone said they had to... Uh, uh, sorry, not Aminu. Aminu, it's okay. I know you have to run. Uh, who else? Who else had to grab coffee? Okay. Ali Tumbi, are you back? If you're following me and you want to, you know... Uh, I have to drop that. I have to get club out for you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's starting in an hour from now. Not now. It's starting in an hour from now. So I still have about, about an hour, okay? Um, okay, all right, cool. Who else is here with me? Who else is following? Who else wants to see this get done? Ronnie, are you still here? Or did Ronnie drop? Adebi is here, Bojo is here. Okay, all right. So moving on. Um, so let us now do an LS on this. Okay, now we want to go to our source folder. Our source folder, so CD to SRC. Okay, see what I'm doing, guys? CD to SRC. Enter. Okay. Do an LS. Okay, you're following? Do an LS. Now we can see that folder in here on the server. Okay. Now we need to edit this app.js folder. Okay. Now I'm going to do, I'm going to use Nano, a text editor here on Linux, to edit this app.js file. Okay, I'm going to edit that app.js file. Now it's opening it in nano for me. I'm going to scroll all the way down. I'm going to scroll all the way down. Uh, actually to here. Okay, to here. And I have to change this. Okay, don't change that port number. Just change what I'm changing, guys. Just change the IP. That's all you need to change. Delete all of that. Delete all of that. And then grab your the IP, the public IP of your instance. This one. Okay, this is what you need. Okay, and paste it in there. I believe I can just paste right there. Yep. F give me number five. If you're with me so far. The number five. Bojo. Wow, Bojo. Great. And this is the first time I see your name. And like you're like on top of your game. Just following everything and on point. Okay, Bola is also there. Very good. So now do control X. I did be very good. Do control X. And then Y. And then press the key, the Y key. Okay, press the Y key and then press enter. Okay, to save that change that we just made. Let me make sure the change is there. Let me do nano again. Nano up the JS. Okay, yes, it does have my updated IP here. Okay, it does have my updated IP. Control X. All right, that's good. All right, Um. now what should we do? What do we need to do? Okay, now go back to this first screen, this first tab that we have. Let's run that again. Let's run node server.js again. Let's run this again. Okay, let me run this. Connection successful. Okay, very good. Now let's do um let's go back now to our test folder. Okay. I can do cd dot dot to go back to my test folder. Okay in the second tab okay cd and then let me make sure i get that code that we that we needed to run okay i don't think we need to do this anymore uh hopefully it works without having to do the package log.json again otherwise that might be another step to troubleshoot this and and, and do that so uh, let's do npm start again npm start Okay, now let's test again, guys. Let's test again. Let's refresh this page. Let's test again. Give me the number nine. Number nine, if you got form received. Give me the number nine. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Awesome. Awesome, guys. Great job. Great job. Great job. Great job. Great job. All right. Now, how do we test? Uh, how do we go and see? Did it really submit this into the database? Our database admin wants to go and check. Is this working? And remember, we're, they're still testing to make sure it works fine. Where do we need to go now to test, guys? Come on, someone in the chat. Where should we go now to test? The information we just entered using the application. Workbench. Very good. Let's go to Workbench. Let's go to Workbench. Now, 
we want to see select all from students all right we select all when we did this earlier it did not show anything now if we do this right now and we click on this is it gonna work great job guys we're done we're done i promise we're done it worked it worked it worked it is in there as you can see uh, <laughs> the information i put from the application uh, for example, you know, the front end where our customers will interact with, we can now see that, yes, those information are, are entering into the company's database. The most important part, you know, the most critical uh, uh, information for companies are what? The data. Okay. And now we have our data that we are expecting from our application. So, uh, absolutely. Uh, yeah. Thank you, guys. Sorry this took a while, but I hope you guys, you know, find... You know, look at the positive aspect of you know of, of this and i'm sorry for keeping you guys uh for so long i hope you guys learned a lot okay i hope you guys learned a lot especially with the troubleshooting aspect okay again i love the troubleshooting aspects okay go ahead and make sure you terminate your instances terminate your uh, amis you know uh, terminate everything and see if you can do this again okay see if you can do this again all right um thank you guys um i don't think we have enough I, maybe i can take one question just one question okay and uh and uh and uh we'll, we'll call it a day okay any question the first person to unmute and ask their question yeah club has not have android version yes i have a session on uh, if you if you're on my telegram channel i put on the telegram channel that i'm gonna be having a, a you know a review session on clubhouse we're gonna be talking about regions and uh, uh and uh s3 i believe and I am today as a review session for those studying for solutions or architect associate. So at 2 p.m. Eastern time, join me on Clubhouse. The link is on the Telegram channel. Okay. Uh, Clubhouse is only for people with uh, iPhones, you know, iPhones with uh, iOS 13 update, something like that. So uh, you have to find someone who you, who's, who's already in the app that will send you an invitation. Um, guys, um, that's it. Thanks. Looking forward to watch and doing the video. Okay. Mustafa. Thank you. Antoine. Uh, no man. Yes. Like I mentioned, you need someone. Yeah. They're still looking to open the Android version. Uh, Bola. I don't use iPhone. It's okay. Um, at some point, perhaps, uh, uh you, you know, they'll open it for Android users and you can join. Yeah. Unfortunately for now, it's just for iPhone users. Um, so guys, thank you again, uh, for joining this session. I hope you guys learned a lot and um, yes, I'm going to remember, I'm going to, I need to update, update, update this code in the, in the, in, in the folder. Okay. I need to update this in the folder. Um, so I'm going to paste, uh, change that now in the Google drive. Okay. So you guys have the updated code. Okay. Remember we had to do make some changes. All right, guys, take care and um, have a great rest of your uh, week. Um, I, I think no one had had any question. Yeah, video is recorded. It's gonna be uploaded to my YouTube channel. Okay, a link to the YouTube channel. Everything is in, in is in the Telegram channel. Okay, please, you know, guys, your comments really matter on these videos. Please leave a comment. You know, make a make a LinkedIn post, right, about what you just did today. Employers are watching. Okay, write a post about what you did today. Like I told you guys, you always. You know, write posts about all of these different topics that we talk about every week, right? Because employers are watching, and some of the first thing they they look when you look at at your application is your LinkedIn, right? They go, to, they they legit go to your LinkedIn. So make sure you're having these stories, you're building up these stories. You know, you're writing posts as you're watching these videos. Write a post about it on LinkedIn and tag me, guys. Tag me, okay? Tag me and said, you know, you watched my video this week, and okay, that way that gives me more visibility as well, and a lot of people are aware of what I'm doing. If you pass an exam, tag me as well in your post, okay? You know, uh, I say, you know, you know, what, you know, whatever in a form of appreciation you're showing in your video that, you know, it, this helps you. That way, I also get more visibility and people are able to see that these videos are working and they're helping people pass their exams, okay? All right, thank you guys. Uh, enough talking from me. Um, uh, 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 I'll see you guys. Uh, Noman, if you can send me your phone number, I can try to add you. I, I have some invites. Uh, send me your phone number to my email. Okay. Send, send your phone number to this email.
Okay. All right, guys. I'm ending the uh, uh, the recording now and the uh, uh, the Zoom call. So I'll see you guys next Sunday. Hopefully, <laughs> I won't cancel. Uh, we'll, we'll do something uh, a new uh, next Sunday, or we'll add to this uh, by using maybe load balances, auto scale, and all that. Okay. So I'll see you guys next Sunday. Uh, if you're joining me in the clubhouse room, I'll see you guys in a, in a couple of minutes. All right. Thanks, uh, and have a great rest of your week. Thanks, guys. Bye.